Hello there, I'm Phil Horlock, President and CEO of Bluebird Corporation. Well, I'm really gonna really surprise you because I'm gonna take you on a test drive of my own today on our very special Bluebird buses. Yeah, that's a shocker. It's gonna be interesting for both of us. Now I'm joined today by a very special and dedicated Bluebird employee, our friend here, X-Man. 23 years with the company, one of our very best guys. Welcome, X-Man. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zanard Jordan. I'm known in the plan as X-Man. Today we'll be riding on the Bluebird Vision. This has the Cummins 6.7 liter engine, which has 220 horsepower. We'll be taking you on the drive, so we'll be tuned. Now before we do that, X-Man, why yeah. do they call you X-Man? What's all this about? Uh, X-Man, I, I got that name uh, in school because all of our family members' names begin with X. Uh, Xavier, Zanard, Zatanya, and Zanyu. I have three kids, by the way which is Zaria, Zanaya, and Zandre. So we just kept the X going. I love it. X -Men. I, I love it. And you are the X-Men. Yes, yes. Okay. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys on the bus. Enjoy the ride. All right, Phil. Now we're on the, on the diesel Cummins school bus, 71 passenger. Uh, we'll be taking on a test drive. Uh, I'm excited to be here this morning and uh, we'll see how it handles. And uh, I have plenty of room in the driver's cockpit and uh, ready to go. Let's power the baby up, X-Men. Let's get going. All right. Now we've got a pretty tight area to navigate through here, right? So yes, let's, it is. Yeah, I want to tell me, what, tell me what you feel about the uh, turning radius to get through it. Let's get. I have an amazing turning radius on this uh, Vision School Bus. Uh, I can actually see all around me in all positions in case there's any kids around, and uh, we'll give it a shot. Here, it's a pretty tight turning radius. And, Actually, it feels like I'm in an SUV or a sports car. That's pretty amazing. You know, I hear that a lot from drivers too. They tell me that one thing about a Bluebird, it does drive like an SUV, not like a, a traditional bus. Very easy. Well, let's see how easy it really is. Give it a shot. Because right. I know one thing, I couldn't make this turn. Let's see, if, let's see the famous X-Mac cat. Pretty good. Yeah, That's really saying. good. I thought you didn't get it in one there, X-Man. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. You know, the other thing I notice is as you're driving, I'm sitting just a, a little bit back from you, obviously, but I cannot even see the hood. It's slow so much. What's it like for visibility at the front of the uh, Bluebird bus? Oh, the vision on the, the vision school bus is amazing. I, matter of fact, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. I'm about six foot one, and I can't even barely see the hood all the way up to the front. Uh, of my cross view mirrors, and here now we're about to pull out in the road. You know, you mentioned that. You know, one thing when we designed this bus, we actually dropped the engine down lower than typically in a product like this, and we angled it differently so that we could actually have the steepest rake of the hood. And what that means is you can see a, child, a little small child, a kindergarten child much closer to the front of our bus, about a foot closer than our competitor's bus. And you know why we do that? Wow. Because we care about kids, X-Men. That's, That's right. what we do every day, right? We don't That's build right. trucks. We build one thing and one thing only. We build school buses. And every single piece of this bus we're designed for one purpose, transporting children. That's right, our precious cargo. That is extremely right. These new diesel buses are not like the buses of 10, 20 years ago, you know? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the noise level is a lot lower, it's uh, got great acceleration, and you know, it was built by a great partner of ours, we've been working with Cummins for years, and they are the world leader in diesel engines. What's acceleration like? Well, it's like driving real nice here, I got a 5 speed transmission in it, a 2500, and right now it's cruising down the street, uh, at great uh, power and great pickup speed. This 71 passenger bus, uh, uh, as well as uh, power and efficiency, uh, the engine is quiet, no road noise at all. You know, you mentioned about the transmission, that's Nelson transmission. You know, if ever, if ever a company is synonymous with that thing never breaks, never lets me down, it's Allison. And this is a great product. That combination of the engine, that diesel engine from a trusty company like Cummins, Allison transmission really makes a difference. You know, I went over some rail tracks right there, and you know, I usually uh, brace myself a little bit, even when I'm riding my car when I go across rail tracks. I didn't feel a thing there. 
Yes, the structure on the on the BBC Vision is absolutely magnificent. Uh, the time and effort that we put in them, they're custom built. Uh, you know, speaking about how we build buses again, you know, there's three things we do with our school buses that are standard on the blue board that nobody else does. The first thing is what's called Colorado racking. We put extra strength in our body for what we call torsional rigidity. And that means when you go over a thing like a rail crossing, there's no movement in the body. It's, it's the safest body of any bus. The second thing is, it's called our tuna testing. So we test up to 300,000 miles of durability on every component of our bus to make sure they can withstand the usage they're gonna get over 15 years of life or more. Again, we're well, the only bus guy who does that, X man you know what? That is great, that is great. And the last one, the uh, one, yeah, you know the last one I love? What's the that? Kentucky pole test. Kentucky yeah, pole. we really do drop a telegraph pole on the top of our bus to make sure it doesn't penetrate the cab. I mean, that's where it started. I mean, that, you know, you think about a tree could fall in a storm or something on top of the bus. Last thing you want to do is that come through the cabin. Well, our bus is built with extra bracing in the roof to ensure that doesn't happen. And again, Colorado racking, our tuna testing, and that good old Kentucky, Kentucky pole test, nobody else has that standard on their school buses except Bluebird. You know why? Why is that? Because we care about kids, though. Man. That's right. You're right. That is our precious cargo. What speed are you doing, Lyle? 85 right now? It, it may feel like it, but actually we're doing the speed limit. We're going 50 miles an hour. I just check it next time. Just want to make sure you're doing that right. It's a smooth ride. No vibration, very quiet. You know, diesel engines, like I said before, they've come a long way. You know, the emissions level on this level, yeah, on this particular bus, it's about 0.2 knots, uh, is, is grams of knots in what it is. And that 0.2 is about one tenth of it what it used to be about 20 years ago with emissions. Now, they come a long way. They're still not as clean as alternative power, All but right. they certainly meet the latest EPA and carbon emissions. Now I know you're a, you're a master quality inspector with us, right? Yes. That's what you do. Yes. So you're the guy who checks off every bus that does that up front and makes sure it's the highest quality and we're proud of it here at Bluebird. When you're driving a bus like this, I'm sure you're thinking about things that I won't be thinking about when I'm driving. I'm gonna be thinking about keeping it on the road. That's my goal. That's but right. what, what are you thinking about? What are you, what are you noticing in the bus as you drive it here? Yes, what we do uh, with the road test, uh, we conduct a series of tests on the road. We want to verify that the steering wheel is aligned correctly. We want to verify that all the options that the customer get, which is cruise control, we want to make sure it's working correctly. Uh, the braking, we do a brake test to ensure that we have the correct brake force uh, and the correct engine speed. We have those calibrated uh, some. Depend on the state, we go 55 miles an hour, some may go 45. Uh, we verify all those options and we just make sure we don't have any vibration or anything unusual when we're driving. Uh, if we have anything that's, that stands out, we'll notate it and uh, get it corrected. But overall, we uh, we have to don't have any issues. That's really good. Now, this bus is fresh off the production line. Huh? How's, yes. this, how's this looking so far? This one's doing great. Uh, looking at everything, it's passed, no engine code, no warning light. So this Thomas diesel in engine is performing extremely well. Nice to hear. That's great. All right, Bill, we made it. So we're here at the testing site, and we're going to get you all in the driver's seat and get you ready to go to take it for a spin. Sounds I'm excited. Cool. Sounds cool. Are you going to be my instructor then? Yes, I will. I look forward I'll be the to that. Instructor. Let's get going, excellent. All right. All right, Phil, we all set. I got you strapped in the seatbelt, and we're giving a spin on the test drive. Okay, let's get this baby going. All right. Parking brake off. Yep, that's it. We put in the drive, you all set. Okay, you ready? Hold on tight there. You ready? Let's go. Hey, you know what? There were 400 cars here this morning. I appreciate you moving them out the parking lot for me. Absolutely. You know. I'll tell you, the first thing I notice is, it's pretty effortless acceleration on this, you know what I mean? Yes. Hey, I like that trailer, that trailer. You put that out there, it's just a like leave more space for fill. <laughs> I see that. But you know what? It's nice and light. It's a great power steering. That's what I noticed too. Right. And you know you feed that through? Oh, it's effortless. It has a very tight turning radius on it as well. You can see like 
right over to the road. Yep. Am I just going around here and doing circles, or am I going on like an ascot track? What's the plan here? Yes, you just keep we'll go around and then we'll, we'll go back through the cones over there. Oh, I gotta hit some yeah. cones? I or avoid the cones. I got some cones set up over there. Oh, well, that sounds clear. tricky. Okay. Well, let's figure out what I'm gonna do here. I see them, I think. Break a little bit here as I go in through these cones. And again, it's very maneuverable, I must admit. I was surprised how easy it is. And I think I can't get over the effortlessness of it. The actual power steering is way better than having like a, any car I've ever driven. And when you think of the, the amount of weight I'm pulling here, it makes That's it right. really easy. Yeah, I've been working out for this. I don't think it was going to be tough. I've been on the weights all morning. I think I need to do that, but I don't really realize I don't, I don't need to at all. That's pretty good. Power steering on this vision is amazing. This vision had plenty of turning ratings. Look how easy it is to turn. Oh, yeah. it's great. Well, you know, last thing you want to do is reverse a bus, right? That's absolutely And you know, the Bluebird bus does have the best turning radius in the industry. Yeah. It's renowned for that. And uh, certainly I've benefited from it, by the way. Thank all right. You. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back and hit top speed. All right, we're on the test and try to get a shot. We've got a very short distance to do it in, so I'm going to really gun it. So you ready? Are we ready? I'm strapped in. I'm comfortable. Let's just wait till I get around this one other bend here, and then we'll uh, we're just warming it up now. Get ready for takeoff. You holding all up right, there? I'm ready. Hold it on. Let's go. Go for it. Wow. That's that, pretty good, isn't that it? That was nice. Yeah. That comes diesel engine has plenty of power. I tell you, diesel engines have been around, you know, in this industry for about 50 years. And, uh, you know, like I said before, they've really improved over the years. But it's not just the engine. It's the marriage of the cabin, the construction, all the It's the way you calibrate the engine, how you tailor it for this vehicle. And we work really hard with our engineering team and with the Cummins Allison team to make sure this is calibrated precisely for our requirements. Absolutely. And I'm benefiting because of that. That makes it easy for me. That's right. <laughs> what horsepower do you say it has this bus? This one here has a 220 horsepower. 220, okay. It's pretty powerful for 220. I mean, you know, you, you have an SUV. I always find it funny. An SUV or a car with 350 or 400. And I get all this power on this huge bus at a 220. That's right. And that's good for fuel economy. You can keep that down a little bit. Absolutely. Obviously, it's been tailored for that. Yes. 6.7 liter comes in. 6.7 liter. They call it the ISB, right? Yes. Well, I think we'll just pull it over over here and then uh, yeah. we'll have a little chat about it again. Give All right. A little assessment. By the way, the braking, precise, nice. straight. By the way, you probably know awesome. I drive, you know, so I gotta tell you something, you know, back in England, when you learn to drive, I'm from Britain, although I'm an American citizen now, I'm right. proud of it. But you know, we're taught to feed the wheel through the hands. All right. And in America, you tend to do more of this, right? Crossing mm -hmm. over. Right. And I remember when I took my driving test over here when I came to the US 30 years ago, she said, now I could fail you. I've been driving, and I've been driving, by the way, 40 years at that point, right? right. Well, just under 40, you know, 70 years old, I'm not that old yet. But she said to me, now I could fail you, but feeding it through, but I know you're from that other country, England, and you do it different, so I'll let you bloody pass, but try and start getting used to crossing your hands like that, so, you know, but you can see 30 years later, I still feed it. <laughs> right. But, you know, what I notice about this bus is, like I said before, it's a Cummins engine, out right. transmission. When it comes to diesel, there isn't a better company out there, is there? Absolutely. We've worked with those guys for years, like I said, the construction of this bus, with that engine, I'm looking out again at this, I'm amazed at the hood. I mean, I can barely see the edge of that hood. That's right. I know for a fact that there's a child standing there, you're gonna see him right up. He could be leaning against that vehicle, Absolutely. and you can see them right up front. That's what makes Bluebird different. And you know why? That's right. Bluebird is number one. We take care of our precious cargo. We care about our kids. That's right. Okay. All right. Great. Right. Thanks, X-Men. You're welcome. Let's take this off off now. And I'm, right. just, I'm gonna shut her down. Put it to neutral. Turn it on. There we go. Oh, did I pass? You passed the test. I'm awesome. Awesome. Great job. I got my C, not in the DL. <laughs>
Next time on Pitt Grand Tour. This is our best-selling Bluebird Vision Bus, and it's powered by an alternative fuel. It has a 7.3 liter engine, as well as 350 horsepower. So it has center power, and you'll be amazed when we take you on the ride this morning. We'll see you there. The six-speed transmission shifting smoothly. Awesome power. This can get going. Look at it. Oh, gosh. From my experience here, I mean, just ridden that diesel, completely different experience driving this. And of course, this is propane power, not gas. Although we use a gas engine block, that's where it ends. Everything else, the fuel system, all designed, one purpose only, to run on propane.